Have you heard about what's been going on in the MMA world slash boxing world? It's a hot topic trending right now worldwide all over America. You feel geography clearly. Geography? I don't know anything about rocks. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, I think there's a couple things that have been brewing as of lately in terms of the altercations that have been happening outside of the ring. Yeah, when McGregor like showed up to Khabib's bus and started like thrashing it around. What I'm talking about this time is the altercation between Nate Diaz and Jake Paul's camp on Saturday morning. He threw a water bottle at a Misfits event. <laughs> that same day, he did a chokehold on Logan Paul. Let's look alike. So not Logan Paul. No. Obviously, he has issues with the Paul brothers, right? Right, right. And he has a fight schedule with Jake Paul yeah. August 5th. I don't know if he actually thought this was Logan Paul. The guy he choked out is famous for being Logan Paul's lookalike. Like an impersonator? Yeah, he's a TikToker. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no offense taken, dude. <laughs> I've heard a lot worse. <laughs> At least I don't look like Jake Paul. I've seen people like that. Like, there's the fake Drake. Remember that guy? Yeah, the okay. fake Andrew Tate with the dancing. Fake Andrew Tate, Yo, yeah. that's my favorite one. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if Nate Diaz thought he was a real guy. Nate Diaz is not the brightest cookie in yeah, the toolbox. Yeah. And when he gets mad, bro, you can see the rage. It just, like, it does not end. They say fighters have a very calm being and, like, they're very centered. It's not Nate Diaz. Yeah, no, not this Nate guy. Diaz. <laughs> For context, he grew up in Stockton. Stockton, California is rated in the top 10 worst cities in all of America. Every year. And Nate Diaz is a proud citizen of Stockton. I think Stockton has a nickname, Glockton. That's what makes the best fighters, is, like, growing up rough. Here's the situation now. Nate Diaz thought he was putting Logan Paul into a chokehold, I guess. Maybe the guy was like provoking him, hello? You would think that, right? But that's not the case. Really? Literally, the guy was had his hands up in the air. I don't want any of the smoke. I don't want none of the smoke. Please. Please don't. No way. Yeah. And then Nate Diaz charges at him. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> this Can you guy, imagine Nate Diaz <laughs> running full force at you, bro? I'd <laughs> myself. Everybody's standing around them. Surrounding them. And there's a half circle like open in the middle. When he sees Nate Diaz coming at him, he curls down. So I don't know if Nate Diaz thought this guy is going for a grapple or something like that. Like trying to take <laughs> his knees. <laughs> Nate Diaz just grabs him in a chokehold and holds him there until he bro. gets completely knocked out. No way. Yeah. The guy had to go to the hospital. Oh, yeah. The guy was like playing dead like a possum, you yeah. know, like just like eh. the one time it didn't pay off for him to act like Logan Paul. He probably was messing with him and he was like pretending yeah, to be Logan Paul, but I don't think it warranted that kind of reaction. Now there's an issue because of the fight. I don't even know if it's going to happen because New Orleans Police Department issued an arrest warrant for Nate Diaz. Suspicion of second degree battery. Pretty serious charge. It's a felony, bro. It might not stop there. MMA, for example, right? You have to be licensed to fight. I think it's more strict for boxing. Yeah. yeah. Wild turn of events, dude. He's not currently in custody. How big is a purse? Do you know? I'm not sure, but it's got to be in the million man because yeah. jake paul's fights they're not cheap his yeah. headliner fights they make money dude tommy fury fight yeah how much was the purse on that i think the purse was like two million dollars that's not counting all the pay-per-view buys too they of get course. a cut of that yeah that guy just became a millionaire overnight jake paul versus nate Diaz has not officially been canceled but he could go to jail yeah he could lose his fighting license his fighting license but it would be a nice redemption story jake paul is like the hated guy versus the yeah. even more hated the guy more hated. from jake paul's perspective i think it's great so much publicity so much publicity this could like traject him into more of a good guy arc Take out the guy right. who's a criminal. Nate Diaz has been around for such a long time, and he is a world class fighter. Mm -hmm. You know, in his day, like he put out dudes left, right, and center. Nate Diaz's fan base, I think, is like still rallying behind him. Just like McGregor, dude. McGregor broke hella laws, throwing the chairs at Habib's bus. And at the end of the day, this is such a different situation. Those are two fighters going at it. This random guy who had yeah. nothing to do with the situation <laughs> well, that's the was thing. just sitting there and was like this. He was like, no. Like, he had his hands up like this. As far as what's going on through Jake Paul's mind, he actually got tweeted at by KSI, his longtime rival. For context, KSI fought Logan Paul twice. Logan Paul lost to him by, like, two points. And there's been this whole redemption arc saga that's been going on for about four years now, where Jake Paul made it his oath that he would take revenge for his brother. The whole thing started because Logan Paul lost to KSI. Right. And now they're business partners with Megan Prime. That's hella funny. Logan Paul's sleeping with the enemy at this point. Now it's at a point where KSI wants to fight Jake Paul and they like hate each other, you know? No it's like way. straight up beef. Yeah, all, all I know is that Prime is going to make an unprecedented amount of money yeah, uh, yeah. during this event. After the Tommy Fury fight, everybody uh -huh. was saying like KSI is next. Jake Paul said, I don't want that fight. At this point, making so much money with these other fights, the pay-per-view guys, I think he broke records with the fight against Tommy Fury. Like whole story about like him fighting a real boxer, well, him that, fighting that's the thing, a like, legacy family. That's the thing. Like he actually fought a real boxer. KSI has not fought anyone near. Like he's, so KSI has a fight coming up in May yeah. against 
Joe Fournier, okay. which is a real boxer. Yeah, I know that. He's trying to say, like, once I beat Joe, I will be your stand in the August fight against you. That's like not even six months. That's like, what, four months later, five yeah. months later. That's yeah. crazy. Jake Paul, he doesn't want that fight because it won't sell pay per views. You know, with Tommy Fury, he has other fans coming in, right? He has his fans, his internet fans, social media fans. And Tommy Fury has the boxing fans, like the right. true purists, right? Right. Those fans. Two types of audiences coming together to watch this to watch one, one fight. fight. Yeah. Whereas if you were to fight KSI now, it's just going to be the internet people watching. Exactly. It. Like they have yeah. overlaps. So that's it's not why, as many. That makes sense. And I guess that's why he wanted to fight Nate Diaz instead because yeah. Nate Diaz has all of his MMA it sells. fans. Yeah. That, he right, doesn't right. want KSI because at this point, he feels like he's grown past it and at a skill level, but also like at a pay per view level. I wonder like if, if they're going to accept KSI's bid. If not, I wonder who else they're going to have step in. They're playing with the terms of the contract. And that's one of the other reasons why so many years and they haven't settled on a contract, right? Between KSI and Jake Paul. KSI now, I don't know if you've seen him lately. He's lost so much weight. He's fighting at like 170 right now. Jake Paul was Nate Diaz fight. I think he's dropping down to 185, but it's not his natural weight. He's more of like a heavier set guy. Right. It was harder for him to lose the weight. And mm -hmm. I think he mentioned that for the Tommy Fury fight, one of the reasons why he lost it's was because he cut so much weight and was like probably lethargic or something. Yeah, you know? he, he cut the weight wrong. The KSI is fighting at 170 yeah. in May. How is he going to bulk up to 185 by August? 185 only... is like doable, I think. 10 pounds. It's about how you put the weight on. Eat 10 pounds of nachos in two days. <laughs> yeah, it's not the same thing. It has to be put on properly. Jake Paul tweeted back at him and he said, said that, yeah, I'll gladly take you as a stand-in. I really appreciate the offer. We'll do 185, no rehydration clause, and we'll fight. And obviously, KSI is not going to agree to that. Do you know what rehydration clause yeah, is? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's when you dehydrate yourself before a fight, and then after the weigh-in, you just like start drinking a shit ton of water and getting back up to your weight. Beat Fake, the weigh-in. Beat the scale, right? Yeah. Because the weigh-in is the day before. Uh -huh. So a rehydration clause means that the day of the fight, you have to be within a certain range. So if there's no rehydration clause, that means they don't weigh you the right. day of the fight. The day of the fight, yeah. Honestly, that's a slippery slope, dude. Like, I, I feel like I would want that, especially if I'm coming up weight and someone else coming down weight. Honestly, I'm kind of excited for this fight. I also wanted to show you Jake Paul's reaction was when he found out what Nate Diaz did. Dude, what is this guy wearing? <laughs> Welcome back to jakeselfdefense.com. Today we're going to be teaching... <laughs> Bro. <laughs> What is brother in the background? Just like, uh, yeah, so <laughs> he's like, bro, what do I, man? I'm doing here. <laughs> Let me go home. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> I'm not getting paid enough for this shit. <laughs> now, I'll be demonstrating the MMA fighter, and this will be the poor victim on, on the side of the street. Whoa, well, I really don't want any problems. Please leave me alone. I don't want any problems. I don't give a fuck, man. Well, oh, so I got him in this uh, chokehold now. And what you're going to want to do is take out your safety snorkel. You got a safety snorkel put away somewhere? Damn, this is crazy. <laughs> They used to like talk smack during press conferences and stuff. The world of fighting has changed. <laughs> it's different. They be making you. They should be dropping YouTube videos on your ass. <laughs> it's different, man. And insert the snorkel for extra airflow. So now that you're able to breathe during the chokehold, you're gonna escape and punish. Run away. You're gonna run away. JakeSelfDefense.com. I'll be honest with you, that was hard to watch. <laughs> cringy? Yeah, it was super cringy. Hey, man, cringe makes views. All the 13-year-olds are going crazy right now. <laughs> they watch it and they're like, oh. Yeah, that's pretty crazy, though. So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. August, what is it, August 6th? August 5th. August 5th. I'm excited yeah. to see what happens. Tune in to Trust Us Bro to stay up to date with everything that's going on in the world right now. Don't forget to like this video. It helps us beat the algorithm. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be one of the first people in the entire universe to watch yes. our videos. It's a privilege and an honor. I'm um, yo. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. I'm Yo. And I'm Mo. Deuces. Peace.